guys welcome back to my channel it's a pleasure to to have you come back again uh thank you so much for subscribing and for and for joining me this week and for new uh people thank you so much for joining me kindly feel free to subscribe if you like my content um and feel free to give comments and uh, feedback in the comment section below um so today we actually have another perfume video uh, like I said in my first perfume video, I actually love perfumes. I may not have the biggest collection in the world, but this is uh, one of my passions. So I'm actually trying to grow this and um, and uh, do more videos like these ones. Uh, so today's video, we're actually talking about uh, Hugo Boss. Uh, the perfume itself is called Femme. Um, I actually really love the scent. Just before us delving deep into this, uh, um, into this uh, perfume, um, it um, it actually looks very chic. It looks um, it looks unique. Um, um, it smells feminine, light. It's not um, offending to anyone's nose. In fact, when you actually spray it on, people know that it is your scent. Or well, how I got introduced to this scent was uh, when I was in university. A friend of mine actually got it to me as got, got it for me as a gift. And it smells so divine i loved it um it's very pleasant to the nose it is not offending no one will you know start sneezing or anything like that and given that i have allergies that's actually very essential um so even when i do spray like um like a lot <laughs> which i shouldn't it doesn't affect my nose at all that's how pleasant it is for especially people who have allergies you'd find that uh people might not really like say for me people would not really compliment me but i know i'm smelling good but it leaves an impression uh, i'll give you an example uh, i used to wear uh, i used to wear this at work and i'm using past tense and you'll see why i used to wear this at work and then another workmate decided to to get the same scent and uh, when she was approaching one of our colleagues uh, that colleague was actually like, Ay, why are you smiling like Tinashe? So in as much as um, it might not draw too many compliments, it is something that you'll be known for. So I actually have it with me here. This is the scent itself. Um, very nice packaging. Um, pink, silver. You can already tell that it's going to have some hints of floral notes in it. Um, and uh, if I'm to open it, as we can all see, this is why I used past tense because it's finished. I actually finished this whole bottle. I had another one before, I finished it as well. Um, I've been trying to see whether I can repurchase it, but I know the moment I repurchase it, I will not give a try to other perfumes that I'll have in my collection. So I might hold off on this so that I, you know, I utilize what I already have. And as you can see, the bottle is actually very elegant, very nice, very unique. So this is a 75 ml bottle. You can get this in a 50 ml bottle as well. And when you look at here on the top, it has uh, Boss written on it and you go Boss. And um, given that there's nothing in here at all anymore, if I'm to just smell it, before even looking at the notes, before that knowledge of the notes, how does it really smell like? So just by smelling it, like uh, for me, I can smell a bit of jasmine, just a hint of it. You can smell just a hint of lemon, but not too harsh, like uh, like those uh, Egyptian lemons, whereby they are not too 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 strong, but they are really nice. You can smell that. Then you can even smell um, just a bit of you know that sweetness, like a like a like a citric not orange per se like a tangerine or something like that you can already smell it just from just from the bottle um so when you look at uh just more details with regards to um this scent you find that uh this scent was actually launched launched in 2006 um it was um it was launched in 2006 um then they say that i'm looking down because i wrote down some notes so that i don't go too off track in this video um, then if you look at what they say about the top notes, it has tangerine, it has freesia, it has black currant. Then uh, if I'm to just comment with regards to those top notes, I cannot smell the black currant at all. 
and I have another scent that you can really smell the black currant. In fact, it's the star of the show. But here, it's, it's really not the star of the show. Um, then the hot notes, you'd find that there's jasmine, uh, there's Bulgarian rose, and there's fleur de lis. And uh, this fleur de lis is a lily. You can smell just, just a bit of that lily, just, just a little bit, but not a harsh lily. Uh, the combination of these notes to my nose is actually a really pleasant combination then when they say that the dry down is lemon wood and apricot and like i said you can actually smell that uh, lemon wood and uh, you know just just that hint of lemon and and that bit of of of, uh, of apricot so to me uh, if i'm to just uh, express how long it lasts on my body for me you can say that it, it, it lasts like moderate I could uh, spray it once, but I know that as the day progresses, uh, the smell actually uh, goes. Um, so I can say it's moderate. Maybe say um, if I'm to spray it in the morning, like at 7 a.m., um, maybe after lunch. After lunch, the, sp the, the smell will not be as, um, as strong as it, as it initially was. But the good thing is um, it's, it's very... It still lingers a little bit but now this is not a scent whereby when you're walking up past someone someone actually just smells it like that it's only when you're a bit close to someone which is one of the reasons why I actually like the scent um, so they say that um, it retails um, for about um, it retails for about $40 on some sites um, then uh, about 65 pounds and what was surprising is it looks like it's not the UK of our site, they don't really have it except for the UK residents. Because uh, if I looked, because I actually checked the UK, the the US sites, and I could only find it like it, it was being stocked in other places and not the UK of our site. Um, so that was really interesting to me. But um, in essence, this scent is a really good scent. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's actually my signature scent, but it's just that I want to try out other scents as well. Um, so that I can, you know, just develop that nose of, of perfumes. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried this perfume before? What are your thoughts? Did you like it? You, did you not like it? Um, let me know, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, just tell me what your favorite scent is. And uh, maybe if I have it, I can do a review on it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.